What's up guys, Fire Shoes, back at it again with another shoe video. And we're coming at you team gray sweater today. Straight up chilling in our gray sweaters. But we got an insane one for you guys today. We got the sleeper of the year, hands down. People snoozing on these and I don't get it. I think they're fresh as hell. Let's get into them. So the shoe we got today is the AJNT23. And I'm not sure what the NT stands for. AJ is most likely Air Jordan, but we don't know what the NT is. We tried to figure it out, we can't figure it out. If you know what NT stands for, please let us know in the comments below. But this is the AJNT23 black and gold. And these have been slept on, I might say. A lot of people are dogging these, trashing these, saying, oh, they're a Team Jordan, they're one of the newers, and I get it. The retros are the best. The retros are the best. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that. I love retros, but I can have an open mind. And I honestly can see a few things in these. With the right look, you can pull these off. If 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 future or Migos were walking around in these, everybody would want a pair. You better believe it. Yeah. If if, if, if some star was rocking these, everybody would be on them, but as of now, everybody's trashing them. They only released 2,500 pairs of these. Let me repeat that. They only released 2,500 pairs. That is extremely limited. The Air Duars that we know were extremely limited were 8,500 pairs. So this is three times less pairs than, than the Dior's. They came in a suitcase and I really can think of a lot of styles you can do these with. We're going to do a post after the video, probably the next day, of these on feet to show you that these can look good, man. And I think these have been extremely slept on. They were about $200 retail around there. And at first, they were reselling for about 500 bucks. They had the suitcase. The suitcase, a lot of people wanted the suitcase. The suitcase brought hype already. But there's only 2,500 pairs, so that's also gonna bring hype. But now they're dipped back down, folks. You can get these things for like 250 bucks after fees if you bid right. I mean, they're in the 200 range. I'll have to look to see exactly where they're at on StockX, but these are around 250 bucks for a 25 pair, 2,500 pair shoe extremely limited you're not gonna run into anybody else wearing these or if you do that'd be insane so you're never gonna see anybody else wearing these they're extremely limited they come with a suitcase and you get them for 250 bucks sleepers no sleepers yeah. i'm done rambling you want to get into the details of these things yeah so this shoe has a lot of details I don't even know where to start, but... You really don't know where to start, but there is just so much to it. <laughs> Let's just start in the bottom. So first you have this nice gold glitter along the outsoles. And then right in the middle, you kind of have like this gold chain looking material. Um, yeah. It's pretty hard and rigid yeah, it's as hard. well. Yeah, so, it's hard. I mean, that's a pretty nice touch. It's I nothing think. like I've ever seen before. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then along the midsole, you have this nice <clears throat> white rubber also rigid um, material going along. And then up from the white midsole, um, just a lot of details, a lot going on. One of them being the Velcro strap here. And then on the Velcro strap, you have the gold Jumpman and then the gold 23 at the bottom or beginning of that strap as well. Mm -hmm. You have the gold metal pieces uh, that I guess you could call the eyelets of the well, I want to say laces, but they're not laces. This is a laceless mechanism, tightening mechanism. You kind of just pull up on this rope 
here, and that, that's what tightens the shoe. Um, advanced technology. You got a glittery gold bottom. I love the white on the bottom of the shoe. You got the strap that unvelcros. And that's what, I feel like they have a little bit of inspiration from a few different shoes. This strap here kind of reminds me of the LeBron soldiers, even the ones he wore in the finals in the, in the game where he had the block and the, in the game seven when he won the championship. He was wearing a shoe that was black and gold, as was Kyrie. And, they, and, he, and it had a similar strap going over the shoe. Um, you got a little gold line here. You have some patent leather touches. Yeah. And just so much detail. And I'm gonna and I want to and I want to get into the quality in our neck. A lot of the details ha really are about the quality of the shoe more than the appearance. So we're gonna get into the other quality details coming up next. So what really is cool and great about this shoe is the quality. See, they made 2,500 pairs of these, so they really went all in with the quality mm -hmm. and, the, and the materials. So you see these shoes, basically the Fire Red 4s that just came out. They made so many pairs of them, probably a half million pairs, maybe more, I don't I have no idea, but they made a lot of pairs. When they make a lot of pairs, the quality dips. The leather gets hard, the quality dips significantly. It's the opposite when a shoe is very limited. They made 2,500 pairs of these and it is like a tailor made every single one of them by hand. Yeah. You got a fabric that, I mean, I should do some research because I have no idea what this even is. I'm gonna try to give you guys some really close up looks on these materials to do the best I can to have you see the materials on these, but you really have to see them in hand mm -hmm. to get an idea of the materials used on these. You got patent leather, spots kind of around the ankles and these little lines of a shiny patent leather but where i'm really talking about is the toe box and the middle of the shoe i mean this is just some i don't know i've had them on my feet insanely comfortable um you got a, even a little bit of a different fabric around the toe i don't even know what this is on the side this right here ty i mean what is that it's almost like it's spacecraft yeah. material. This is some rocket science shoe here. I mean, I don't even know where they get these materials. <laughs> and then you got kind of like a Velcro around the heel, but it's like a it's like a little like fuzzy yeah. fuzzy hair around the heel. Yeah, I think that's like go with the strap if someone wants to, you know, tie a little. And then it's just tighter. Maybe. They're 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 very just sturdy. The rubber on the back heel is just whoo. Lord, Lord, I could go on about the quality of these. They are so high quality. You really walk around and you are walking like you're walking on the moon. These are astronaut status. I'm surprised. I mean, Future might be wearing these on the cover of astronaut status for real. Yeah. These are astronaut status. These are Pluto. These are out of this world with the white jump man on the heel that she forgot to say earlier. These are out of this world. I mean, underneath the heel and the toe, in, in between this, uh, with the gold in between, you got these gold air bubbles. I mean, there's a lot of air technology in here. You got all the advanced technology that they've ever talked about on this shoe. It's, it's mind blowing. Yeah. And I honestly think it can be pulled off in a fashionable way. I think these can be pulled off with lifestyle, leisure looks, with some sweatpants. Um, that's what I'm picturing now is sweatpants with a tight bottom or jeans, pin rolled, black jeans, pin rolled. Ooh, and you're walking, fresh. you're walking in with these and the, with the white bottoms. You're looking fresh. You got, the, you got the pull tabs on the front and the back and they, they fit your foot. I mean, these were made to be a top level basketball shoe. And they and they are good for basketball. I, I've heard, I have heard and read people say that these are incredible for playing basketball in. These were made to be a top level. They almost got like this rainproof stuff. Look at this, what is that? I mean, you can endlessly find details on this. Like, what is that? Yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying with that? It's like a waterproof kind of thing. Like where you see like a waterproof zipper. Woo! I mean, these were made to be a top end shoe. There's 2,500 pairs of them. They come with a suitcase. We're gonna show you guys the suitcase. Oh. They're top quality and they're going for 250 bucks. 
on the resale market? No brainer. No brainer, guys. These are a sleep fest. <laughs> sleep over, slumber party. If you, no brainer, man. I got, I doubled up. I got a, I got two 11s. I doubled up on these. These are going to the moon. I don't know if they're going to the moon. Maybe they won't ever, but I love them. And you can't go wrong with these folks. Yeah. Get, 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 get in on these. I want to see you guys walking around in these. And tag Sire Shoes when you got them like May. Thank you for letting me know about D. Let's go. So let's get into the final rating of these bad boys, Sawyer. The final rating, and this is a toughie. This is a toughie. And I'm gonna leave the suitcase out of my rating. A lot of people like the suitcase, I'm not talking about the suitcase, I'm talking about the kicks. Now, I just wanted to make one more note. These kind of, how are these not the Balenciagas, the one that looked like socks? How are these not? How are these not fresh? <laughs> you know why? Because a lot of people are hype beasts these days. I encourage you all to open your minds. But maybe, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe they're not that dope. But I love them. I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. So they're not my favorite silhouette. I'm not gonna lie, they're not my favorite one, but I love them. A nine, big number. I'm going big number on these, nine. Yeah, that's pretty big. Um, I, I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. The silhouette is okay. I mean, it is kind of similar to the Jordan Retro 11. Um, as far as like the silhouette goes. I don't know, it, it just doesn't get the full 10 for me. I mean, it's, it's a nice shoe, but I wouldn't rock them. So. I don't know what you meant about the Jordan 11, but we'll let that one slide. What? <laughs> it is like the same shape, like. Whoa, yeah, it's, whoa, it's a whoa, shoe, whoa. it goes on your foot, just like the Jordan whoa, 11 does. <laughs> just like Balenciaga's do. Whatever. All right. So that's our ratings. And that's it. Nine out of 10, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Yes. Whatever. It's high. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let's be friends. We're on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Sire Shoes. And, follow, and give us that YouTube subscribe for more content like you got today on sneakers and fashion. We would love you to subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Yes. We greatly appreciate any support. We greatly appreciate any engagement. We want to hear from you. We really want to hear from you. We really want your opinions. We want to. We want to hear what you guys have to say about sneakers. We love sneakers. Yes. And whether you hate them, we, we still want to hear that. We don't. It's not bad to say you hate it. Let us know what you think. That's all we want. We love talking about shoes. We love talking about fashion. It's all good. Sire shoes. We out. We out.